Mátame. Another birthday. Frida, you are 35. You are old. You are not married. You have no kids. God knows I try. God, you know I try, but men are just some bunch of commitment phobes. That's my goddess. Yay. There you go. Thank you, sweetie. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so lucky. Do you know what I feel like doing right now? What? Oh, babe, stop. What's wrong with you? Is everything okay? No. When are we taking this to the next level? I don't understand. Next level. Marriage again. Of course, marriage. <sighs> Damn. Sweetheart, and I can't deny the fact that I love you so, so, so much. But like I've always told you, we do not need a marriage certificate to legitimize our relationship. We just two people who aren't married. Oh, come on. It's the right thing to do. If you love someone, you get married to that person. Why does this matter now? Well, I, I'm, I'm not ready to cohabit. In fact, I, I don't believe in the concept of marriage. Bullshit. While it's bullshit. Bullshit for every girl that has been told by every jack of a guy that he does not believe in marriage. And the next thing he goes off to go marry some teenager he met at the job office. Bullshit! You know what? I can't do this anymore. Oh, you can just go. That's what you I do didn't. anyways. Don't Leave. Kill me. Just go. Don't All men are safe. No, 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 no. Oh my I'm god. Not. You guys are just the same. Go! I came here to have a good Oh my time. god, can you just leave already? Who's this? What's, what's going into you? Oh. oh God! And I scum. Can you hear him? It was such a beautiful wedding. It was so good. Yes, it was. Um, quite surprising that uh, Chief Mukunye's daughter was able to finally get married to him, man. After several years of jumping from one bed to the other in Italy. You know, life is a puzzle, you know? Dad, look, don't make this about me, okay? Well, this has everything to do with you. Every single thing to do with you. So let me ask you this. When are you actually going to give me grandchildren? Dad. Don't daddy me. You know, a few weeks ago on your 34th birthday, you gave me a cake that almost poached me to death. So let me tell you this now. When you're 35, do not give me any cake, all your cakes to yourself, unless the cakes are coming with grandchildren. Do you understand me? I'll see you another time. How could my night possibly be? 
help the night of someone whose future is bleak be someone who is confined to this cage help it is light possibly be Xavier aren't you tired of playing this pity party games don't try to patronize me it's been years and ending Play the spitty party games. It won't help anything. Can you stop trying to be sentimental? The pretense is disgusting. The reason I'm here is you. Are we still on this? I don't expect you to understand. I understand. You don't understand. If you did understand, you wouldn't be asking me stupid questions that are capable of restorating healed wounds. You know, I'm, I'm actually very used to you keep tripping. I came to check up on you and also tell you today's Frida's birthday. Standing here, I've been waiting for you to come out because I don't think I can walk again. What's wrong? What's, what, what happened? He's, he's, he's been so tough, so difficult. Been so difficult. I don't think I can do this again. I've really tried. Um, Clara, please. Look, you know he's not feeling too fine. It's probably because he's not used to you yet. Can you just give him a little more time? I don't mind increasing your I pain. would have, but I've tried. I've really, really tried. Oh. I've really tried. I don't even mind you paying me for the remaining one month. If you still want to do, you can still pay. If you don't want to, then forget about it. But, I mean, I, I can't work again. I've tried. I've tried, please. Hmm? I've tried. Take care. Clara! Happy birthday, girl! Where is the birthday girl? Frida? Oh, Frida! Come in. Frida! Come in. Hey, that's my girl. Just look at her. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you. Mm. Hope thank you like you. it. Oh, thank you, Chi. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. You know what, Frida? You know I'm very grateful for our friendship. It's so true. You've been. You've been there for me. Mm. You've been there for me through my ups and my down, and I just, I don't even know what to say. All I will promise you is that I'll be there for you to no matter what. Mm. You want to make me cry now, Chi. <laughs> like, you want to make me cry even more. Don't worry, Joe. You don't have to cry. You know you have a very kind heart, and I don't mess with that. So thank you so much. Thank you. Much. Thanks for the gift. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Mm -hmm. So, why do you look this messy and dull? And of all days, your birthday. She stop. I'm not in the mood. You're not in what mood? Drop the cake. 
look, look, look. Just go in there, take your bath, wear your best clothes because I am taking you out. We are going oh, to celebrate your big I day. I feel like. You don't feel like what? Look, look, look. Just, I'm, I'm not even joking. Just let's go out. Okay, okay, okay. You win. You win. <laughs> What's that? Really, your dad? Don't stop. Are you serious? He, is he still bothering you with all that marriage stuff? How are parents like this? <laughs> something now, please. Hmm? So, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's not everyone that is destined to get married. Come on, don't say that. Just, just give it a little time, okay? You're not going to lose hope now, are you? Time is, is a luxury I can't afford right now. Not anymore. And as for hope, I've replaced that with despair. It's obvious I'm unlocking love. And I can't keep having dating and social anxiety disorder. All because of men's attitude towards me. Sorry. Huh? I think I know what to do. What? What's that? I need a child. Frida, you, you're not going to bring in a child into this world without getting married first. Says who? I am 35, G. 35. And my late mom, she said menopause came early for her. So, um, how do you intend to achieve this? You tell me, you're the doctor. Hey, calm down. I'll talk calm. Guys, too late, don't worry, 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 don't worry. Ah, guy. I don't even understand how you would not knock before entering somebody's house. I don't understand. Do you know how long I've been knocking downstairs? Then yeah, start with K. Says you're right. When you would not call somebody before coming to their house. Wait, I should call you that I'm coming to your house. Uh -huh. Or Diego. Meanwhile, is that not your sister's friend that you drew there? So what? I know you've been eyeing this girl. You don't be eyeing this girl for some time now. Good stuff, Sha. Our man is man enough. You don't know what you're saying. See, guys, stop being so defensive. Eh? Everyone is capable of love. Come on, stop being too hard on yourself. And not that I'm judging you yet. I'm not saying the girl is not fine, but it's the whole feeling thing which you are. What are you talking about? What are you blabbing on about, cheap boy? No, voila. So, what are they See here. See this girl picture? I want to move her. Check it. So, I want you to draw a portrait of her. I don't have money. I don't have plenty of money. So, this girl, I want you to give her a very sweet portrait. So, as I don't have money, you will do it for me at least. I could just package it in the room. She will give me a straff. I could just one round and turn so, Chiva, you don't have money, but you want a wig, yeah? Hmm? No problem. Your money is 25,000. Mm. 25,000? Mm -hmm. Come and cut my neck for ritual. So, mm. come and cut my neck for ritual. No, how much are you expecting me to use? Am I not your guy? Uh, Am I not your friend? Okay, so what should I do? I will chop friendship, Abby. It's okay. I'll, 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 I'll give you 6,000. Mm -mm. I won't owe you cash. No, be only 6,000. You better carry that money and carry it to. Mama put. Please come and sit down and draw this thing. Please come and come and start drawing. 
<laughs> okay. So, your eggs have expiration date. Just find a man, or rather, I would say you need a man to fertilize the eggs. And who says I need a man to have a child? Biology, Frida. You just know the microscopic part of him. You'll have to get me a sperm bank. Ah, uh, that's an option. I, I thought you were going to start with, like, a real-life man, a, a physical one first. But I don't have a man. I'm not dating anyone. Frida, Frida, have you seen you? You're very hot. It's not going to be hard for you to get a hot guy. Just, you know, invite him for a drink or two, take him back to your house, and the rest will be history. Really? Mm-hmm. It's not that hard, now. Of course. Uh, but you know that, if by any chance this plan works, there must be something in for them. Wait, wait. Are you saying I have to pay a man for sex? No, I'm saying that you have to pay the man for his sperm. Oh, come on, Chi, look, I know my boobs may not be up under my throat, but there is no way, no way I'm paying any man to reproduce with me, never. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, why would you even think of that? Why would I... Really? You just want to get a man to just get you of pregnant, course. and you're not why going to... Why do I have to pay for it? Why? <laughs> Hello, Lorenzo. How have you been? Yes. Oh, you're married now? Wow, oh my God, I, I had no idea. That's, that's good news. Congratulations on your marriage here. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Yes. It's okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Hi, hello, Darlington. How are you? Have you been? Ah, it's okay, it's fine. Oh, wow, you, you're a priest now. A Catholic priest. Hmm, that, that's, that's good news. Wow, that's, that's, that's really good news. St. Bartholomew's Parish, that, that's where, oh, no, 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 I, I really don't have an idea where that is. But it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just calling in to check up on you. It's okay. Yeah, wish you all would priesthood, okay? Bye. Hey, Achi, how are you? Yeah, so so. Hi, Zabuja. You just forgot me, right? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's okay. Huh? You're where? Yeah, I know you're in Abuja. Oh, you need money. You want me to lend you some money. Oh, really? Okay, so like how much do you need? Huh? Three million naira. Ah, oh, three million naira. Stupid man. Because I called you now, I want to borrow money from you. Why are men so stupid? Huh? I'm, I'm tired, though. I'm tired. Oh, God. Wait, Lorenzo is now married. Hey. Talenton is now a priest. Wow. Hey. Well. U.S. officials alleged this week that Russia could be planning to release some, some, some sort of uh, fake attack, a video of fake attack against them as a pretext for an invasion. Um, in the meantime, we just saw the cozy at the Olympics. China's President Xi Jinping looking very cozy at the Olympics. Um, what, what do you make of all of these developments? Uh, and, you know, you should have at least called him from that you'll be late. Instead of leaving me here to be your house help who would stay up to lock up after you are back for my own safety. Don't you have a wristwatch? Don't you have a courtesy of checking? I'm sorry, Xavier. The traffic was serious around Lekki Conservation Center. I'm that is not good enough. You should have considered the traffic before gallivanting around town. Going from place to place. Didn't you know you were supposed to leave there earlier? 
Yes, yes, of course. You have the right to get the to walk around everywhere after I'm the one who's in the wheelchair because of you. Doing nothing. I'm still the one that will stay out. Xavier, it's okay. Why do you keep doing this to me? Why do you keep using hostile words to me? Why do you keep blaming me for everything? Are you not tired? Are you not tired, Xavier? I will always love you Only in my dreams I smell your fragrance coming over me Though sometimes I feel it Makes me want to cry This feeling sets my soul on fire Oh my god On fire Gotta quench this hopeless desire On fire On fire Have you seen the latest gist on um, what's this actress name? Ada Okoye. The story of her and that guy she had the baby for. Yeah. No. I used to, it's all over the internet. It's on the blog. Go check it out. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait are, are you serious right now? Men are just a bunch of troubles. How can that man crop out of nowhere after 16 good years? coming to claim a child he, he used f for a business transaction. Why are men so heartless? Eh? Oh my God, this, this is not good at all. It's, it's, it's not good. Do, do you know a desperate woman can kill for something like this? Like she'll make sure that man is wasted. Oh, who does that? Why are men so troublesome? Why? Huh? Wow. Hello? And babes, can we see tomorrow? Um, you know what? T tomorrow is a very good day because it's my off day, right? So I I'll see you then. All right, so I'll come around tomorrow, okay? See you. Mm. Babe, so why are you changing your mind so vehemently just because you saw a news on some blog about an actress and her donor? Why do you think you suffer the same fate? I, like, I don't want trouble, okay? I don't want some donor coming to my doorstep tomorrow and claiming custody of my child. It's not that deep. Don't worry. I'll call the clinic and find out the procedures, okay? That's okay, but... Okay. What's, what is the success rate? What's it like? Okay. So, aside the fact that, of course, the sperm is going to be screened for infectious and genetic, you know, diseases, factors that can affect conception, um, things like your age, the method of insemination, um, even your circle, and your history of pregnancy. But women below 35 years, without history of fertility problems, stand a higher chance when it comes to sperm donor so at my age at 35 i'm an endangered species ah uh, no, no that's, that's, that's what, that's I mean. what <laughs> you're saying that's what it is no everything yes. will be fine come on are you that old what's that i'm 35. <laughs> hey look who's uh, here hey xavier hey frida how are you i'm very well thank you it's always good to see you mm -hmm. uh, Happy belated birthday. Wow. This is beautiful. Thank you. I love it. You're welcome. It's uh, a beautiful portrait for a beautiful lady. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop with the flattery. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're so talented. Oh, Thank you. Let me give you something for your trouble. No, 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 no. Go off it. It's just a gift from my heart. You don't have to give me anything. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I love this. How did you get this picture? It's one of my recent pics on my page. <laughs> I have my ways. It's not like I'm stalking you now or something, but I'm, I'm always on your page. <laughs> um, I saw this there and decided to make a portrait out of it. Wow. It's such a beautiful angle, captures your face well. <laughs> I love it. 
Uh, that was very thoughtful of you. Thank you for the gifts. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't flattering you when I said that you, you were beautiful. Oh, thank you, Xavier. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's very Our beautiful. day gift still coming in. <laughs> Thanks to Xavier. It's so beautiful. It looks so much. That's that's just me. Oh my God, Xavier. <laughs> wow. He hasn't even done one for me. <laughs> This is ah. beautiful. You see that? Wow. <laughs> He's so tired. I mean, look at that. Perfect, right? Perfect. I knew he was talented, but I didn't know he was this talented. <laughs> this is beautiful. He is talented. Very talented. So you should advise him to monetize it. Look, there's so much money people. People make money from painting and drawing these days. Talk to him about it. My brother, I should advise Xavier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how stubborn he is. He won't listen to me. He won't. I'm tired of always talking and getting rebuffed. Like, you have no idea what he will say to me. You know how, how, how bad his mouth is. <laughs> if I tell him to do this, He'll start stirring up argument and outburst and uh, look, I'm not ready for all of that right now, trust me. <laughs> I don't have his energy. But this is really beautiful. It is beautiful. I mean, he hasn't even... Wow. That was so thoughtful of him, like he actually made the right picture choice. I, this is one of my favorite pictures. I know, right? Oh. Like he even got your chin. Hey, I'm mom. I knew it. My instinct will never fail me. Well, knew what? What are you even doing here, Chiboy? See, the question is, why are you behaving like a criminal whose hand was caught in a cookie jar? You still haven't answered my question. You haven't answered my question, too. Now, guys, eh? life is too short to be snuffling it in the column of a girl you say you love, or rather you love. Instead of you coming out to tell her how you feel about her. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, fine. It worked. What worked? The portraits. Okay. Okay, fine. See. So, I sent it to her through a delivery man. Mm -hmm. She got it. She called me. She called me three times. I didn't pick. For the fourth one I picked, this girl was telling me different things. Now, it's been missing some money since I heard all those things. Hi! Man. And? And she said she wanted to come around. And? I don't understand. Which one is you and and? A real opportunity came. I pushed to it and she came around. The rest was history. Good. Good for you. Chief boy, the playboy. Guy, guy, I, I guy. think you're lucky. Guy, guy, there's no such thing like that. Opportunity came, a real one. I said, sharp on this guy, what be? I grab him sharp now. And she's not even looking bad. Sweet girl. See, there's no such thing as luck here. I go for what I want. And when I see it, I take it. You know, unlike some of you guys that peep from the window and sniff perfumes and go to the bathroom to check off. That's enough. It's okay. You um, what do they have in the kitchen? Famish now. So, Enemica, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, why do you want to be a nurse? Nursing is my passion. I love providing comfort and education to those in need. And I also like to intervene in difficult situations. Hmm. Um, have you worked in any hospital before? Yes, ma'am. I worked with St. Dominic's Hospital, Yanopaja. So, tell me about the time that you had to handle a difficult patient. Okay, ma'am. The thing is, I've often faced difficult patients. I mean, that's part of the job. So there is this patient in particular that kept yelling at everyone in the world and even over minor things. So I spoke with him 
and then I realized that it was upset over a hopeless diagnosis. At the end of the day, we got him a therapist and he was quite pleasant. And everyone in the world was happy and relaxed. Hmm. That's quite impressive. Thank you, ma'am. I can see from here that you're single, so are, are you in a relationship? Nope, not at the moment, but I'm willing to give it a try. Ah, so what would you say you love in a man? So I'm, I'm sorry if, um, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm not um, asking you uncomfortable questions. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Um, Unlike other girls that have a long list of what they want in a man, I just want a God for a man and a man that has regards for me, I might consider. Hmm. You're a very wise woman. Thank you, boss. Hmm. So take this to Mr. Banjo, tell him that's the prescription that okay. he will take to the pharmacy for his sick mother. I hope you don't mind me asking. Go on. Is this your elder brother? <laughs> no, that's my younger brother. Oh. <laughs> and his name is Xavier. And guess what? What? You two have the same thing in common. Which is? Singleness. My brother is single and ready to mingle. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, he's not bad looking at all. Oh, thank you. I could give you the plunge. Oh. <laughs> you have my blessings. As a matter of fact, I will, I will send his social media handles. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. It would be an honor to go out with my boss's brother. You're a likable person, and I'm sure he will be too. <laughs> Thank you, but please do not mention my name. I don't want it to look like a matchmaking. My lips are sealed. <laughs> Thank you. So make sure you do that, okay? Okay, ma'am. The girl is the real deal, bro. She's just wonderful. I, I can't even explain how I feel with her. The truth is, I, I cannot wait to meet her. She said she's coming this weekend on Saturday. I'll try and make her something really nice, one of my special dedications. Wow, bad guy. But what does she do? She's a nurse. And guess what? She's a church girl. Better thank God though. At least this one will pray all the demons and anger recklessness from your body. <laughs> You're crazy. I will always love you only in my dreams. I smell your fragrance coming over me. Though sometimes I feel it I'm coming to cry. This feeling sets my soul on fire On fire Gotta quench this hopeless desire On fire On fire Gotta quench You're welcome. <sighs> Fine.
Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Oh, wow. You never told me you were on a wheelchair. I'm sorry. I didn't know how to tell you. I thought um, you were going to lose interest in me if you found out. Really? I was enjoying the flow. But you know everything about me. I told you virtually everything about me. I'm sorry. Are you upset with me? Well, I must say you're wise. Because if you had told me you were on a wheelchair, trust me, I won't bother coming. Don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming you or laughing at you or anything like that. But I know how crappy being on a wheelchair can be. I don't think this is the kind of man I would like to spend my forever with. Look, my eldest sister got married to a man that was later diagnosed of Alzheimer's diseases. My parents never blamed her too much. You know why? Because she didn't know. But if I dare marry a man on a wheelchair, I'll be used as a project topic. Besides, your sister never even mentioned you were confined in a wheelchair. I'm sorry. Sorry, wait, wait a minute. You, you said my, my sister did what? I'm sorry. Goodbye. Anna. You had no right, absolutely no right to do what you did. What for? Who the hell do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Trying to match make me with someone for as what? As an invalid? Someone that cannot get himself a, a girlfriend or, or what? What's that supposed to mean? Please don't, don't, don't say that, please, Xavier. I was just trying to... Don't try to help me! Don't try to patronize me, I don't need it! Joma, stay out of my business. Stay the hell out of my business. I'm sorry I disappointed you. I suck at acting on that direct and I don't really know how to pretend. Please don't let this come between us. I'm still loyal, boss. I know my naivety would have run a lot of things for you, but I'll make up for it, I promise. It's okay, you know. It wasn't your fault. Hmm? I I should have told you of his condition, but I didn't. That was wrong. So it's fine. It's okay. I totally understand, ma'am. I'll do the same thing if I were in your shoes. <clears throat> you look so pale. I'm sure you didn't sleep a wink last night. Can I get you something? It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine, Anna. I'm so sorry. It's fine, Anna. Please excuse me. I will always love you only in Frida. I smell your fragrance coming over me. Though sometimes I feel it. How I love 
for you, Frida. How I love you. This feeling sets my soul on fire. I wish you can just realize that I love and cherish you. Just come into my arms. Come into my arms and make me the happiest man on earth. But I know it's not possible. It's not. It's not! This is just wishful thinking. She can never be mine. No, no, she can't. Who would love her? A man like me. A man that's just sitting here. Hopeless. Helpless. No future. No joy. So I will always no happiness. You only in my dreams. I smell your fragrance coming over me. Though sometimes I feel it makes me want to cry. Hello, how far? Are you alright? Okay, um, give me an hour. Uh, I'll call you back. Okay, fine. Just give me an hour. I'll come and see you. Okay, okay. Thank you. I'm coming. This life is unfair. So unfair. How come everyone, everyone is finding love? But I'm here. I'm still here. Stuck. Is, is it hard? Is it so hard? It's so difficult to find love in my condition. Can't. Someone just love me for who I am, who I, I really am. Just love me. Can't I just find love? But guy, <clears throat> forget your condition. You're a fine guy, you. Yeah. And you're a good man. Yeah. Do you know that? Okay, see. There's something to discuss with you. There's this old friend of mine that linked me to one fertility clinic like that where you can donate your sperm and they pay you 400k. Mm -hmm. 400. See, guy, me. I want to live a good life, oh, guy. Plus, my babe, I need to take care of her well. Eh? See, if they check my screening and see I'm fit for it, oh, more they transfer the money sharp, sharp. 400k. Four hundred K. Four hundred thousand. One, two, three, four. Ah. You know how many twenty thousand I did that four hundred K. So wait, if if you do it twice, that's eight hundred. Oh now I'm kidding go. Eight hundred K. If you do it five times, I mean I know you have a lot, you're not using it. But let's start with one first. Do you understand? No. Are you game? I don't know. I, 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 I need it too. <sighs> Chee boy, where are you now? Where are you? I was still going to the fertility clinic. Then you should be here by now now. It's been almost one hour I stay waiting for you. Stop this thing. Just be here soon, I beg you. I'm tired of waiting. I'm gonna come off my phone, Jerry. Boss. 
boss. And I, uh, what is it? I know it's not my place to ask, but what is wrong? There's no problem. I'm fine. These past few days have really given you away. You act awkwardly around your patients. You don't want to see them. And even when you see them, you barely spend time with them. You spend little or no time with them. What is wrong? Trust me, I'm fine. You're not fine. Your eyes betray what comes and out of your mouth. I said I am fine. All right. Here's the file you requested for. You can drop it on my table. I will always love you only in my dreams. I smell your fragrance coming over me. Though sometimes I feel it makes me want to cry. This feeling sets my soul on fire. On fire. Gotta quench this hopeless desire. On fire. I told you so soon. What? Are you already developing a cool children? Nah, not really. Okay, so congratulations. <sighs> my only fear is I don't want any man coming to my doorstep and claiming custody of my child. I'm just kidding. But why do I feel so awful? Mm, maybe it's the hormones. Look, you'll be fine, okay? Let's just hope that this is not the tough first trimester. Uh, I pray it's not, please. I don't pray for that at all. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look who's gonna be a mom. Oh, please, chill. It's going to be very Okay, hot. so what next? <laughs> Frida, why are why you like this? Okay, okay, just, just listen to me. Let me tell you what to do, right? You need to learn relaxation techniques. Yes, okay, so things like daily yoga, stretches, um, exercises. These things are good for the baby. You know you're pregnant now. I, I'm not asking you to go and do ex something very tough. So another thing I must tell you to do is to load yourself with a lot of calcium, your meals. Trust me, when you start going for your antenatal classes, believe me, they will tell you a whole lot more. Yes, of course, they will give you, med yeah, your doctor will give you medications. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that. I hope the baby is kicking fine. Y Frida! No caffeine, no, 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 no caffeine. Caffeine is not good for the baby. Caffeine is not good for the baby. You're going to have a miscarriage. Of course, yeah, even, do you want, do you want to deliver prematurely? What's wrong with you? But you were telling me you want to become a mother, you want to become, now you are a mother now, you, you just, just see the things you are saying, you want to drink wine, how? <laughs> No, no. Frida, no. I thought you could see my love for you from my, my body language, the gifts, the portrait. Oh, God. I could have just told her how I felt about her. Even if I told her, she would also reject me like others. My childhood crush is gone. Choma, you're a beast. You're a beast for putting me through all this. You're a wicked piece of trash for ruining my life. God will judge you. <laughs> you're not serious. 
<laughs> I had to ask you mm -mm, that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't believe you would say anything like that, though. <laughs> wow, this, this is really spicy. Oh, I like it. So, <clears throat> how's the journey been? What journey? The pregnancy experience, of course. Oh, babe, you know I'm still a newbie on this, but trust me, I would revel in my tummy oh. while I go on Okada and look for every book. In fact, all the books that would teach me on what to expect when you expect oh, it. Wow. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Like, it's good to know that you are, you know? Mm. You're getting a very good hold of the, all of this. But I must tell you, pregnancy will stretch you to the limit of your endurance. Do you understand? I mean, it takes you to emotional limits and heights that you never thought you'd get to. To change your body, it to change. I mean, this hot shape of yours, your values, everything. Trust me. She, you don't have an idea of my plans. Yeah, you don't want to know how I plan to tend to this bundle of joy in my tummy. Hey. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that. Mm. I'm so proud of you. Um, G. Yeah? I'm meaning to ask, why don't you want to get your own man? Uh, I don't think I'm, I, I don't think I'm ready for all that men drama and bohaha. Mm. So they say, very soon they'll fall in love with the patient of theirs in the world. And huh. boom, uh. happy ever after. Huh. My gender, I fear who no fear so. <laughs> I wish, I really wish that would happen to me. Can you be? Why are you acting like someone who wants her cobwebs to be cleaned up immediately? Come on, don't tell me what I'm doing, okay? Not enough. I can be fixed in my eyes. that he's no different from all this scum that's been in your life over years, right? Can you just stop? How can okay. we help you, please? Come on, Chuma. Hi. Hi. I am Jeffrey Obi. I'm Frida Idahosa. But you can call me Jeff for short. Mm hmm. Okay. It's nice to make appearance. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you look like you stepped out of a magazine. Oh, say that again. <laughs> you know you don't have to chip in yourself in front of all these commitment shy species. I mean, you and I know that you never end up well between you and them. Just look at the way you were laughing like a fish in, in front of a total stranger. She, come on. Okay, so because I've been, I've had my own fresh, I'm not lucky with men, I should turn myself into an angry bird. Oh, come on, I'm not wired like that, you know me. <laughs> uh, uh, Frida, you, you do realize you're pregnant, right? And so, I mean, what law says a pregnant woman cannot mingle with guys? Which one? Huh? Wow. Yeah, I know I've had my own fresh of men's irrational behavior. Yeah, I have. But it doesn't mean I can't have them in my corner. It's not like I plan to have a relationship with them. We just do stuff in between shit and everybody goes their separate ways. It's not that serious. Wow. Oh, 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 see, you know, you're actually oh. one apple that's fallen really far from the tree. And I hope you roll back to your roots because I don't understand. Just make sure you don't go back to your vomit. It will happen now. Come on. I hear see, you. For once, just trust me. I got this, okay? Okay. I got this. I'm serious. Hey, I knew wow. it. A golden fish has no hiding place. <laughs> wow, this is fate. I didn't believe I was going to see you again. Nah, nah, nah. This is too convenient to be fate. <laughs> what would you rather we call it? Serendipity. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Nice to meet you again, Frida. Oh my god, he remembers my name. Of course, my memory hack is still intact. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to risk not seeing you again. 
how about um, you chill for me a bit while I finish with my spa appointments? We'll go to somewhere cozy, catch up, sit, talk, and I get to know you better. <laughs> well, I'm done with my own oh, appointment. Come on, Frida. Please, come on, come on, come Are on. Are you being on. serious right yes, now? Yes, I am being very <laughs> serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Always glowing. Well, you're welcome. Ah, such a breathtaking space. <sighs> nice apartment for a gorgeous lady like you. Thank you. I guess taste isn't hard when you have the money to spend. You can say that again. <laughs> so what do I offer this gentleman right here? And you're uh, welcome to my home, by the way. Thank you. So what do I offer you? Anything, anything at all. Come on, your choice. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be waiting. <sighs> oh, nice piece. Oh, we have amazing places like this in Nigeria. I'm impressed. So, here you go. This is my specialty. I'm sure you love it. Trust me. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, babe. Babe? And who gave you the authority to call me babe? My heart. Your heart. Who knows how many babes are in that heart list of yours? <laughs> None except you. Come on. I am not promiscuous. So they say, or do you find out they've got a list longer than that of King Solomon's concubines? <sighs> okay, come on. Let's toast. Um, to? A new friendship. To a new friendship. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So what do you do? I'm a businessman. I sell cars. And I'm based in Calgary, Canada. Hmm. And you? I'm a wedding planner. I plan weddings for a living. Hmm. Impressive. <laughs> so tell me, when I need to plan our wedding? Hmm. <laughs> He's got jokes. Sweet. How about I show you have some white girl you're married to in Canada and you're here trying to make me a second fiddle? Niger branch, is that it? Huh? Come on, Frida, just stop. That's just a misconception about Nigerians there. Not everyone is out there for a green card. While some have relatives who can petition for you to have a legal permanent residence. Okay, noted. <laughs> so are you back home on holidays? I'm here to see my friends and my family and um, to get a wife. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Are you okay? Frida. 
Was gross. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I understand. Hope you won't delete my number. Why? I mean, I've been throwing up and. <laughs> Frida, okay, what if I am your husband and you happen to be carrying my child and you threw up on my face? Am I supposed to run and abandon my wife? Well, you're not my husband, and I'm not your wife. <laughs> Don't worry, let me not keep you waiting. It was, okay. it was good to have you. A pleasure. Uh, uh. Oh, wow, Frida. In every sense of this, this is low and medium key, disgusting. How are you even able to invite a man that you barely even know into your home? Why are you allowed to take unnecessary risk? What if it, what, what if it's a killer? What if it's a kidnapper? What, what if it could hurt you? He's not. He's not any of those, Chi. Look, he's, he's a really cool guy. He's fun to be with. Oh, please, cut me the eulogy. This is what you've practically said about every man you've been with. For crying out loud, why do, you, why do you keep doing this to yourself? Why? Should I remind you? Should I count them for you? Are you not tired? Can't you see that they'll keep doing this thing to you? You are beginning to sound like a broken record. Do you know that? Look, Chi, I know you're trying to look out for me. You don't want my heart broken or shattered into pieces all over again. I get that. I know it. But there's something different about Jeff. He's different. He's, he's such a gentle soul, I swear. Something different? No. He's all, he's, he's the same. They're all the same. There's nothing different with Jeff and every other man that you have been with. Can you just focus on your baby? Can you just focus on the child in your stomach and think about how you are going to give this child the best life? You said it yourself for crying out loud. What man would even want to be with you knowing that you're pregnant? Tell me. Why didn't I meet Jeff before I got pregnant? You'd have been the perfect father for my unborn child. Why am I always an underdog? Frida, you are not an underdog. Look, do not listen to their sugar-coated tongues. They are all the same. They're going to break your heart for crying out loud. If the others were dingwits, he's no different from them. You said these things for you, you said you just wanted to have a child. Just 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 imagine him standing in your in, in just, just, like I don't even understand. He, he's, he, he stood so comfortably in the house like he owned it. Oh my god. I will always love you. Only in my dreams, I smell your fragrance coming over me. Though sometimes I feel it makes me want to cry. This feeling sets my soul on fire, on fire. Gotta quench this hopeless desire. On fire, on fire, gotta quench this hopeless desire. From far away, with my soul hanging there, I whisper your name to the night, whisper your name to the night. Can you believe that I my brother has been in the country for some while now, and I've been calling him more than a hundred times, he didn't pick my call. Really? That's weird. Why would he do that? See, I think he's angry because of um, what my mom did to him and all of that. But I'm not my mother. I'm sure he'll come around. Don't overthink it. Well, meanwhile, you called me you were depressed about something. What was that? God, yeah. I... I don't know. I, 
I think you were right. About what exactly? The person you're in love. I would have mentioned to her that I loved her. Frida. But you never admitted that to me or anyone. Well, that's my greatest wrongdoing. I mean, I just bottled it up and never mentioned it to her. I mean, I, I would have told her that I loved her. I would have tried. But that's, that's too late now, because she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Even though, now that I think of it, I don't think she'd be able to love me in my condition if I had told her that I, I loved her. So let me not even wallow in it. Do you think she would have? The thing is that I don't have an answer to that question now. But you assured me, bro. You, you always assured me. I know, but... Uh, I don't know. Oh. So I'm that terrible. <laughs> I'm that terrible that nobody can love me. I cannot find someone to love me. I, I know of other disabled people who have even found love. Why is mine different? Why, why is mine so different? See, stop being hard on yourself. For sure, what I know is that you're going to find happiness at the end of everything. Look, Frida, there's nothing even special about this guy. All these Yankee, I just got bad guys, they're all the same. That guy probably even had a wife there in, in, in Canada and a lot of side chicks here in Nigeria. You're just one of his catches. So uh -huh. you, you really need to calm down when I say these guys mean you no good at all. Please. Chi, what exactly is your problem? No, what exactly is your problem? I want to know. You don't even know this guy as much as I know him. Are you here judging him? You actually do know that I mean you well. You've been a very good friend. So not just my, my brother, but even myself. I'm not going to sit down and watch anybody break your heart. I owe it to you to make sure you don't fall an emotional wreck anymore. Now, this is absurd. Honestly. You were the one that vehemently castigated the fact that I wanted to conceive through artificial insemination. You kicked against it. In fact, you advised me to get a man, a real man. Those were your exact words. Now I have one, you have nothing nice to say about him. You have only unprintable things to say about him. Look, what exactly is your problem? You don't even know this person. Look, Frida, you should listen to no, me. No, you listen to me, Choma. Listen to me. Why should I even listen to you? Why? You don't have a life. You don't have a love life. You don't even have a man. So why should I listen to you? Tell me. You can't give what you don't have. Frida. Huh? Really? Really? Gosh. So you really do know how to cook? Yes, of course. Mm. So how did you learn how to cook? Uh, my mom, granny, my aunts, you know. Wow. You know, it's, some guys think it's a cool thing or a guy thing for 
a guy not to know how to cook. Some can't even light a match. <laughs> I beg to differ. I don't, uh, I don't belong to that school of thought. So why do you go against this stereotype? Uh, well, one, it is cost effective. Mm -hmm. And most especially, you get to know what you eat. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While some restaurants tell us certain ingredients that go into your plates, there are just other aspects you don't know about. For example, what were the cooking conditions? Was the chef sweating all over your food? Ew. I know. Did an ingredient get replaced with another? So you just wouldn't know. That's why I prefer, <laughs> I see it as a necessity to know how to cook. Smart one. In fact, I give you 200 yards of husband material. Oh. That's what you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. see that again. Okay, so what is this that you're making for me? I can't wait to taste it. <sighs> That feels so good. Oh my yeah. god. You like? Yeah, it's relaxing. No, right? Oh, you're so good at this. Yeah. You feed me, now you're giving me a wonderful massage. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. I learned that from my late dad. Oh, I miss him. You know, growing up, I used to watch my late dad give my mom a massage. Oh, my mom, she loved being pampered. Mm. And sometimes she asked me to give her a massage. Oh, you're good at a lot of things. <clears throat> Feeding me, massaging me. <laughs> Your girlfriend must be very lucky. And who says I have one? You're too cute not to have a girlfriend. I mean, you're too cute to be single. Anyways, guys never like to admit they have a girlfriend. So, you can keep on lying to me. Come on, Frida. I am a very responsible guy. If I am in a relationship, I won't dare go close to any other woman. That is who I am. I like exclusivity and I endorse monogamy. So you, you're truly single? Of course I am single. Oh, that's so hard to believe. So why are you single though? You want to know? Yeah, I'm curious. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm all ears. I used to have a girlfriend back in Canada. Things did not really work out between the both of us. We parted ways and I'm fine. I have moved on. Okay, so what really happened? Just some irreconcilable differences, you know. You don't want to say. <sighs> There's nothing to say. I'm okay, it's fine. You don't want <laughs> It's okay. Come on. Don't stop massaging me. I'm enjoying it. Go ahead. I say please. Please. <laughs> so, please. <laughs> please. A drop of tone, please. <laughs> Come in. Hey, baby. What's going on? Okay. What? Frida. Will you marry me? What is that? You don't love me? I do love you. Then what? You don't want to settle down yet? I want to settle down. I want to settle down right now with you. Then what? Come on. Talk to me. Don't keep me hanging in the space. I'm pregnant. What? But we have... It's, it's not for you. I, I got pregnant through a sperm donor. 
Yeah, I, I was just, I was tired of all the heartbreaks and treatments I got from men and, and I was scared my menopause was going to come early, just like my late mom's. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm not getting any younger, so I decided to have a baby through a sperm donor. I wish I'd met you before I did that. Where have you been all my life, Jeff? Well, this isn't going to change anything. Frida. to spend the rest of my life with you. Please. Just say yes. <laughs> Frida Hidalsa. Will you marry me? You know the answer already? Yes, yes, yes. I'll marry you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! Yes, I'll marry you, babe. Thank you. Frida Idahosa, what on earth has come over you? How are you even able to accept a marriage proposal from a stranger? Jeff is not a stranger. Look, I look. I appreciate the fact you're trying to look out for me. Always trying to look out for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. But it's time to give me a breather, please, Chief. Please. Oh. I should give you a break. Yes! Frida, this is not how you sounded when you got your heart broken a million times. You are like a lost puppy waiting to be cubbed. So now that you think that you've gotten a shot of sunrise, you want to continue with your folly? Don't talk to me like that, Shoma. Don't! What is wrong with you? Are you jealous? I can never be jealous of you, my darling. I can't. You know why? Because my friendship is true. If you are truly my friend, then you should learn to love whomever I choose to love. Frida, can you not see through this guy? Can you not? Do you not see his game plan? Oh, God. What game plan? What game plan are you talking about? What? Look, if he pays your bride price, if he, if he becomes your husband, then it means that he automatically becomes the father of your child. And what is wrong with that? What? Haven't you given it a thought that someday I would want a father figure for my child? Haven't you thought of that? Ah, Frida, you are so difficult! God! <sighs> Give me a break, please. You. I came to warn you to stay away from my friend. Look, she's in a very happy place right now, and I don't want you messing that up for her. You hear me? Listen. I genuinely love your friend, Frida. And I am sure she feels the same no, way no, about... No, 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 no. She doesn't love you. She's just unguarded and very vulnerable. As a result of where you men put her. Excuse me? Are you a mouthpiece or something? Oh, I'm a best friend. Her best friend that wipes her tears every time demons like you breaks her heart. And I'm not going to sit down and watch you do it to her again. She's been through a lot. Don't come promising her marriage only for you to jilt her on the 11th hour. I am not the type of man you think I am. You know, you give yourself too much credit. You all are the same. Come, heartbreakers, whatever. Look, stay the hell away from my friend. Leave her the hell alone. And... Stay What's wrong with her? I want you to, to act in kind of weird, like do Frida's psycho bodyguard or something. Ah. Please cut us some slack. Hi. Hi, Xavier. I am... Um, I will 
want to ask you something. And um, what's that? Frida. Is she um, pregnant? Why? Why are you asking? Well, I heard from someone, so I. I thought it would be wise to just confirm. Oh. So why don't you go to that same person to make that inquiry? You're her best friend. I am not your messenger. Stop being stupid right now. If I wasn't confined in this wheelchair, I would have gone to her house myself and congratulated her. Congratulate her? Or chastise her? To hell with your baseless insinuation. And to hell with your constant do tripping! Look, I have suffered the bond of your guilt tripping me. I have suffered from everything that you have constantly put me through since our parent died. I have rejected love. I have fallen into depression several times. I have questioned God. I've asked him questions I'm not even supposed to ask. Because of you, I have wallowed in self-pity. And Savior, I will no longer do that! Jemma, you are beyond redemption! You are not God! You killed our parents. I didn't kill our parents. It was an accident! An accident you caused! An accident you caused! You would have just left them in peace, but you kept insisting that they attend your useless matriculation because you wanted to prove to the whole world that you had well-to-do parents. The Okuri is been coming to Unilag. Yeah, great. All because of you. The star of the family. The bright one in the family. They had to do your bidding. Always. Choma, you are a very selfish person. You are such a selfish human being. That's what you are. Make me an orphan. You shattered my future. Made my life so bleak. Savior, I followed your education. I've been with you through thick and thin. I think that's enough. to fly me abroad to fine-tune my artistry. But look at me now. <laughs> I have become a shadow of myself. No motivation. No strength. No. Nothing. I sit here day in, day out wondering what to do Talk about education. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't cause for them to die for my child. I didn't want them to die. I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't. Please, Could have been avoided. Oh, God. It could have been avoided. Mom and Dad would have still been with us today. <laughs> Look at me. Look at our lives. This is not what I planned for myself. No. Hey, bros, now. Hey, bro, it's not good. I've been calling, I've been texting, I've been keeping you in touch since that time. Hey, but, bro, you came back, you didn't even call, you didn't even text, nothing. You, you, you know, I know um, we're not good due to our mother's bad behavior, but they're dead. You know, we can become good siblings by, you know, becoming cool. Bro, I love you. Seriously, I love you well. 
and I'm always rooting for you anytime. Anytime. It's fine, Chi Boy. I understand. We'll talk. Oh, and oh. I'll have to put my grievances on the table. Ah, so cool. So means uh, we can start from here then. Yes, sir, excuse me. Uh, look, my woman is calling. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Hi, Shorty. <laughs> How are you? Uh, no, 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 just a couple of things. Uh, of course, I miss you. I'll be with you shortly. Chioma confronted you and asked you to leave me alone? Hmm. She called me all sorts of names. I wanted to feel bad, but then again, I understand what true friendship means. And maybe she's jealous or scared of losing you. What kind of friendship is that? Well, I don't understand. What kind of friendship is that? Hey, calm down. Come, babe. Come on, don't tell me that. What kind of a friend would not be happy for her friend? Why is it so hard for her to do that? She was there, she saw everything I went through in the hands of men. And this one time I found happiness, it's hard for her to accept it. She wants to spoil everything for me. I understand, trust me. Your anger is justified in all ramifications, okay? I feel like we should go see her at least to know what the problem is. I need to let her know that I am a good person and I can take good care of you. I am not like any other man you dated in the past. Babe, really? I insist, please. Remember, she's your best friend and I need to see remain in her good books. Listen, 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 listen. Shh, I want to tell you something. See, and you need to take me very serious. Please, just don't argue. <laughs> she boy. Hey, let me see you outside. I'm um, Chema, please stay away from this. See, why are you edgy? See, even if I don't say the truth today, it will surely come out. Um, <clears throat> it will surely. Uh, and listen, <laughs> Jeff is back. And Jeff is my stepbrother. I know what happens if Jeff gets married to your friend Frida. Boy, um, can we at least go outside and, and talk? I'm not going anywhere until I'm done exactly. telling my friend the truth. Truth? What is he talking about? <laughs> I actually don't know what he's talking about. I just, I, I just want him to come and... What is that at this point? I know, right? Uh, <clears throat> um... Chiboy? Hi, hi. What are you doing here? Um, I came to see my friend. This is a friend? Zevia, yeah, is my bosom friend. Oh, really? <laughs> That's nice. Um, Xavier meets my brother, my stepbrother. He's Frida's fiance. <laughs> Chema, Jeff and I are actually here to see you. I don't know why you refuse to accept the fact that I want to be with him. What exactly are you up against? Frida, the child you're carrying is Zevia's. What? 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 How? What? I don't understand. What's, what is going on here? Gemma, what is he talking about? Shut up! Just shut up, Xavier! I did all 
all of this for you. I did it to make you happy. So just shut up. I am tired. I'm tired of all the burden of guilt that you've heaped on me. I did it to switch the burden of guilt you've heaped on me over years. Many times you blame me for being unable to talk to a girl, for putting you in this condition, for making you disabled. You blame me for the death of our parents when it was just an accident. So what did I do? I had to make you happy. I had to do anything to redeem myself. You looked at Frida many times in a way that I knew that you liked her. I saw you many times fantasizing about her, looking at her pictures. And what did I have to do? I had to do this to make you happy. Who did I have to use? Your friend, Chibor. I had to call him. I had to rub him into the... Realize that I love and cherish you. So what you're asking me to do is a crime. I thought Frida was your best friend and why would you do this to her? Oh God, I understand what you mean, trust me. But you know Xavier is in love with her, right? I know, but it's the only way we can do this. And what if she finds out? Frida, yes. Frida is done with men. She is. And at some point in her life I will tell her, I promise. To what end? God, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Look, I'm trying to go the extra mile. I'll, I'll do anything to make up for this. I want to help my brother. And the reason he's in that wheelchair. <sighs> okay, fine. Even if I agree to these rules, what's in for me? And, you know, how do we go about this? Chiboy, I'll give you 500,000 naira if you oblige. Please. I know you love your friend. I love him too. He's my brother. But this will be the best thing ever that will happen to him ever since the incident. So please. Please. Um, okay. So how do you go about it? Okay. So, Chi, I would have loved for you to be with me the two days I'll be spending there. Well, it's fine. I totally understand work. You can't leave work. It's okay. No, 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 Frida. Don't worry. I'll be with you in the course of the insemination, okay? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're so <laughs> sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chi. Yeah. With you by my side, I'll feel so safe. Oh, what a friend's <laughs> Thanks, 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 thanks. I'm so happy now. Just see how you're doing. <laughs> okay, you. so just to give me a moment, let me... Um, see one of the patients. No, no, it's fine. I'll just go. We'll cancel later. Frida, please sit down. Just give me a moment. I won't, I won't be long. Okay. We'll go and grab lunch later. Oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, I've made the transfer to your account. Thank you so much. So if we need anything, we'll get across to you, you guys. Oh, we are very grateful. We're very grateful. Thank you. And if you need it in drums, we have it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Guy, we are made. I'm a big boy. Hi. Hi. It is done. And trust me, the sperm are preserved with specialized perfect interagents. Nice one, thank you. Don't worry, I'll send you the balance. Okay, no thank you. You're welcome. All right.
Oh my God. Oh my God, Chama, what did you do? What? What? Oh my God. Oh my God, Chama. How could you? Chama, how could you? So you used me. He used me as a sacrificial lamb to quell the enmity between your brother and yourself? You used me to assuage the guilt you felt because you subjected him to a wheelchair. Chum, I gave you money. I gave you food. I was there for you. You're supposed to be my friend. What kind of a friend are you? What kind of a friend are you? You are a psycho. I hate you. I hate you. <sighs> Let me. I hate you. Evening oh. sets my soul on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire. Gotta quench this hopeless desire. On fire, on fire, on fire, on fire. Gotta quench this hopeless desire. On fire, 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 You don't have to press charges, babe. She's a friend. And she did what she did. Out of guilt. Please let go. Why would a friend do something like that to a friend? Hey. Why? Come on, such is life. Trust me, I've seen worse. Stop. But you'll have to purge yourself of this bitterness and still remain open to love. I'll always cherish you. Nothing's gonna change the way I feel about you. I'll continue to love you for the rest of my life. Okay? You're it's fine. Shock. Shock. Hey, 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 come on. Come on, let's come. Come, come. In my dreams, I smell your fragrance coming over me. Be fine. Though sometimes I so. It's been five years since we lost them. It's been five years of just sitting hopeless. Feeling sorry for myself. It's been five years of taunting you. It's been five years of bitterness and heaviness. You know, the happenings of the past few days have, have taught me so much. If not for anything, the fact that I, I can actually leave.
I'm sorry for blaming you. It was not your fault. The accident was not your fault, Joe, but I'm sorry. Please. Do you find it in your heart to forgive me? Sets my soul on fire. 